it's a giant roach clip. Pass it around. All right. All right. How you guys doing? Good. We know all that bullshit. Get on with it already. You know who's driving me absolutely crazy on television is this Robin Leach guy on the lifestyles of the rich and famous. And what an appropriate name for this asshole to begin with. I'm Robin Leach. Sucking up to the rich. Showing you things you can't afford. <laughs> Making you feel like the lowest of lows. Look at this beautiful home in Bel Air. It's something you'll never have. I don't need this in my life. It also drives me crazy is Casey Kasin, the guy that does the top 40. You know who I'm talking about? He's got this big, tall, blonde wife, and I just can't imagine him coming home to make love to this woman. Honey, I'm home. So take off your clothes and let's make love. But before we do that, I've got to go to the restroom. And while I'm gone, try to remember a sexual position we tried back in 1963. Thank you. This is a kind of an offbeat impression. What if James Mason was cast as the part of Moe in the Three Stooges? Larry, Curly, I'm going to have to poke you both in the eyes very hard. Now let's scram, fellas. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are there any New Yorkers here tonight? Yeah. Last time I was in New York City, I bumped into what I thought was a woman. <clears throat> Beautiful looking girl. I knocked her over and went, oh, gee, I'm sorry. Let me help you up. Oh, thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> My brain went crazy. Man, woman, man, woman. What the hell is it? Adam's apple. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. We don't have too many transsexuals down in Big D. I just can't imagine some big, burly Texas construction worker walking into a doctor's office going, uh, listen, Doc, it's going to be kind of hard for me to say, but, uh, <laughs> well, sir, I think I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. <laughs> I know it's going to be hard on my wife and kids, but I want you to go ahead and cut off my dick and my balls and put two big old titties on me. <laughs> I think I'll be happy. He comes back like a month later. Doc, you got my dick in a jar or something? Uh, this just ain't working out. My wife left me, lost my goddamn job. I want my dick back. That's a big commitment in life, you know? You better be damn sure before you cut off your dick. <clears throat> you may not be with a woman now, but maybe a year down the road, you meet a girl, you want to make love? I'd like to make love to you, but I, I cut off my dick. Maybe we could cuddle. And women don't like to cuddle with men that don't have a dick. Are you guys ready to get crazy? Yeah. Say what? Yeah. Well, all right then, let's do it. This is called David Slee's The Punk Magician.
Check a fucking card. All right, look at it, remember it, and keep it in your fucking brain. Is it the two of clubs? No. Fuck you. <laughs> it's magic. He was lying. Let's try it again. All right, pick a fucking card. Look at it, remember it, and keep it in your fucking brain. Is it the nine of hearts? Yeah. Fuck you! It's magic! All right. I'm gonna stab myself. Who's gonna stop me? Fuck you! Ow, it hurts! It's magic! Go home and try that trick. Any knife will do. Watch close. Shut the fuck up. All right. Now you got to guess if the ball's in the hand or the pocket. Ready? Hand or pocket? Hand, fuck you, pocket. It's magic. All right, let's try it again. Ready? Hand or pocket? Fuck you, pocket. You people are stupid. I'm fooling you and you don't like it. All right, let's try it once more for the stupid people. You know who you are. Maybe you don't know who you are. All right, ready? Hand or pocket? Yeah. Fuck you, pocket! It's magic! All right, try and make it a little easier for you. Is it in this hand? Or the other one? This one? Fuck you! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.